Hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful features of Zoho Books, the Quotation Tool. Whether you're a small business owner or a sales professional, this tool is a game changer. A quotation, also called an estimate, is a document you send to your customer showing the products or services you offer and their prices before a sale happens. It's a way to give your customers a clear idea of the cost before they place an order. Zoho Books makes it super easy to create, send, and manage quotations all in one. Using the quotation tool in Zoho Books helps you stay professional, respond quickly to inquiries, and close deals faster. Let's see how to create a quotation in Zoho Books. Today we are going to create a quotation or estimation in our Zoho Books application. Once you enter our Zoho Books application, you can clearly see our Zoho Books dashboard over here. For creating a quotation, you must select the sales tab. In the sales tab, you can clearly see the option called quotes. Once you enter the quotes, you can see that I have already created many quotations over here. For creating a new quotation, you must select an option called new. Once you enter that, first you have to mention your customer name for who you are creating the quotation. I have already created many customers name over here. For creating a new customer, you can use this option to create a new customer and enter the details. And also you can use this option uh, below the sales tab. There is an option called customer where you can also enter the customer's name and also their details over here. In our upcoming videos, I will be teaching you regarding the how you want to enter the customer names and the item section, how do you want to fill the product over the item section. I will be teaching over that. Today we are going to use a name which is already exist. I'm going to choose a name card, Vijay. And also we are going to mention the place of supply, which is Tamil Nadu. And the location here is head office. The quotation, the quotation number here is 13. We can also manually enter our quotation number. For that, you can use enter the quote number manually. We can enter it manually. For a, uh, for a recurring basis, recurring basis or for an orderly basis, we may, can use the continue auto generate quote number. It will be very helpful. Why? Because I have already created 12 quotation. Now that is the 13th one. So that it will be in an orderly basis in an organization. So that I have choose an option called continue auto generating quote number. So they are going to save it. For quotation date, I will, it is being mentioned the generation of date where the quotation is generated it is mentioned as the quotation date. Expiry date. The expiry date I am going to give it uh, from one week from now onwards. Why we are uh, using an expiry date? It will be uh, according to the organization. If it is a product based organization, if the product is rate will be varying day by day or in a weekly ones. So that only we are giving an expiry date. You can also you click the salesperson if any you want to choose and also subject in the subject section you can mention any of the uh, subject in your quotation now you can see a scenario a customer has been come to your company uh, about uh, purchasing a tv and he is asking for a quotation for a tv of sony 55 inch tv so that we are going to choose a quotation for creating that i have choose uh, from the item section you can choose an option called Sony 55 inch TV and the quantity here mentioned is one. We can also change the quantity if the requirement is two. I'll change the option and discount. If any discounts you want to give to the customer, you can mention here. I'm going to give a five percentage of discount. GST. The GST value also can be changed according to that. I'm going to have a GST um, of five percent. The GST values can also be mentioned once you uh, create an item. Here the GST has been split into CGST and SGST 2.5, 2.5 and the values has been noted and it has been totaled over here. The quotation has been created. Once the quotation has been created, we have to send it to our customer. For sending it to our customer, we can use the option called save and send. Why? Because if a customer given you a mail ID, given their mail ID, we can use this option on save and send. Here we are going to send the quotation to the customer directly to their mail ID. Once the customer reached their quotation, they will be accepted the quotation or they will be declining their quotation. The options will be shown in their uh, email ID. After that, if the if we are not reaching through the through them in email ID, 
we can also have an option over here if the um, if the customer says that i'm going to accept it we can have an option over here mark as accepted and also we are having an option called mark as decline if the customer doesn't like in our uh, quotation values we can also use an option called mark as decline it gets declined i'm going to use the option mark as accepted after that after the quotation has been created we want to create it into a sales order or else an invoice in zoho books we are having an option we can directly do this from this place itself we are having an option called convert into invoice convert into sales order in this way we have created a quotation today from our upcoming videos we will be dealing with many of the tools regarding our zoho books thanks for watching our video if you like our video uh, please subscribe to our channel